No, no, I said, I said play. Pay the gold. Phoenix is good. Humiliate is also very good. So is Flunk. A huge fan of the laureate but we do have a bunch of flyers already and we might wheel one of those specters expel is a fine card i think i'm gonna take that over Campus is fine. Essence Infusion and Introduction to Prophecy are also both fine. Leech! Leech! I don't like that card either. What's Snow Day still doing this? Okay, I'll take a Biblioplex over the first Beaming Defense. And I'll take it. That's nice. Uncommon for Vault Progress. Ah, that's a nice one. Uh, Lash of Mouse Hunt for Specimens. Environmental Science is all good. Sedgemore is silly. Wow. Okay. Uh, second combat professor here, I think. This is actually rough, because Flunk is really good. Study Break is also really good. And Hunt is a fine card. Time Warps Flash. I think we take the Flunk because we have the Sedgemore Wish. I'm passing, passing a combat professor. Agonizing Remorse is, is good in this format, but I'm going to take the two drop here. Another eye twitch. Okay. I don't think I want the cozy. Could take a spirit summoning. I have eye twitch to learn first right now. Not much else. All right, I'll take my first pest summoning here. Reflective Golem is actually at its best in the Silver Coal deck. There's also a Pledge Mage. Wait, didn't I take another? Okay, so one of these, one of these is a, uh, one of these is an Eye Twitch. Okay, all right, all right. Inkling Summoning is good enough. Professor's Warning is also fine, but I'm gonna take this for that. Devouring Tendril, Snakes Unveil? Veil. Jeez. Where'd all my stuff go? That is so freaking late. What the hell? I don't want the campus guide here, I don't think. I think I'll just take another campus itself. Wow. Where's my shit? Jesus. Ooh, Gnarled Professor's so good. There's a Rutha here, too. Alright, Rise over Lash. 
And plum. Yeah. Gotta have a way to get rid of those bookworms. Another rise. Yeah. Okay. What the fuck? What the actual... Oh, shit. Um, all right, I could take the necrotic, but I'm going to take the pledge mage here because I need another creature. Could take the arrogant poet as well. That's not the worst. Oh, study break good. I can take another inkling summoning. Study break is very good. But I already have two eye twitch that learn, so a second learn spell is good. Sorry, second thing to learn for, and we have the two rises, so you can always rummage as well. Study break is very good, but I'm going to grab this. Okay, introduction. There's a study. All right. Give me more creatures. What the fuck is happening here? You can't all be in Silver Quill. I don't, I don't get it. I am so confused right now. All right, another Biblioplex is not bad. I don't like Lumomancer in this deck, really. The hell is the Cultivator doing pick 10? All right, apparently they've all switched up things and I don't know what's happening. All right, Poet's fine. Apparently every other bot is in... Every single other bot is in uh, Teamer. Sorry, I mean uh, Silverquill. At this draft table. <laughs> that can't be possible. They've been passing me stuff. Silverquill has been open. Ish. Until the end of the pack. It's so... I don't, I don't know what happens. Alright. Um, two summonings... And say done, and then come back in, and we'll have the... Whole thing to do again. They're bots, Proud Main. <laughs> They're supposed to find a line and stick to it. But if from both directions, Silver Quill is cut after mid-pack, not in the beginning, but mid-pack, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. Packs, the, the bots are fucked. Alright, so this is not bad. Not great. I don't like Promising Dusk Mage, but we do have the, the uh, Laureate that can put plus one counters. I didn't get any closing statements to put plus one one counters on things. I did have to pass that Professor. I passed it for the second flunk. We do have a lot of good removal, but some of it's late. Um, but we also have ways to fetch these two to have a few more creatures and this to have one more piece of removal. Um, and the mana looks pretty good with the two silver quill campuses, so, um, seems good. Uh, whether it's what the bots are doing is crazy. I don't, I don't know. All right, let's see about the quick draft stuff that we have here. Let's try and, like, build this. Oh, wait, it's already built. Um, we can just play it. Okay, so we have Introduction to Annihilation, two Inkling Summonings as lessons to learn for with the two Rise and the two Eye Twitch. We can, on the study break, we can also just um, uh, rummage when we want to. I don't mind Plum the Forbidden here, um, but I think it's okay to just run it like it is. It looks like the bots have over... Like, when we were in this, they overdraft Silver Quill now. Like, they used to underdraft it completely, but now they overdraft it as though... Every single other bot is is uh, in Silver Quill, except that they pass for the first part of the pack. They pass you all Silver Quill, and then the second part of the pack, they pass you all uh, Teamer. Every every single pick is Teamer, and that can't happen two directions without something being wrong. So I don't know what was going on there at all. So you can start to see like we were seeing super super late Rutha, super super late. Um, uh, things on the second and third pack, but only in the ends of the pack. And the first part was all silver quill. So it was just, but, but for both, which shouldn't happen both directions from second and third pack. That's just not, you know, 
the way the game goes. Um, so the bots are messed up. So we're going to run this out and we'll, we'll play a game and see how it goes. Um, all right. This is a nice curve if we can get the fourth land for the professor. What do I teach? Uh, I teach, I specialize in English and writing and test prep. Um, it's funny because when we played Prismari, we only, like, it was like Prismari mirrors. Now it's going to be Silver Quill mirrors. Marina is so predictable. Uh, I do teach history as well, but I have, whoa. Uh, so let's go next to combat, charge. We did get the fourth land for that, and we got a specter, which is nice to see. Um, pledge mage out here. Uh, it will surprise me if they attack and load the one one. I wish you luck in your in your search for a, a, a teaching job. I'm sure that they'll be so happy and lucky to have you. All right. Um, I'm happy to trade for a pupil plus the 1-1. One, one. Alright. They're not going to give me that trade. Um, Alright. Next end of combat. Since they haven't used any removal yet, I'm going to put out the Spectre of the Fens for now. Because that can get through the Stone Rise Spirit and... and um, uh, can double trade for the Inkling Summoning and Stone Rain Spirit if I combat Professor it next turn. If I get a fifth land, though, I'll probably play the Pledge Mage. And history is something we really, really direly need taught well in schools. No! Fuck. I mean, at least all my cards are good. Oh, you're so welcome. I'm, I'm not a true teacher. Like, I, I teach, and I teach courses online as well, but I don't teach in a classroom with a bunch of other students. I teach in an online classroom with a bunch of students. Um, and so the actual teaching in class is just so, so crazy amazing. Um, so yeah, they do take my professor. I'm sad. I love my professor. Um, but, uh, I don't feel that same way, Dudorfer. <laughs> That's a dangerous thing to say to a teacher. Um. Oh my gosh, Hawk, thank you so, so much for the five gifted subs. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Yoku Hapu and uh, Teensy's King and Kiesel and Hobo Masterman and Dustin, thank you so, so much, Jock, for gifting subs to these people. That is so awesome. All right, so I can't play the, the Bloom, but I can um, still attack with my Leech Fanatic if I really want to. Um, they can put a Pulsum Pulsum counter on what? The Stone Rose Spirit here? Which still they can never attack with, but they can give something else flying. Um, I still think this is a fine attack, just to get some stuff off their board. Appreciate it. Thank you for your support of the stream. Really appreciate it. Um, okay. Sounds good. All right. I'm at 26. So we buffered our light life total in case they start giving these things, uh, buffed our life total or buffered, giving it a buffer against... Uh, in case they start giving these things crazy things flying, etc. I still think that was probably not a good attack. Uh, Stone Rise Spirit blocking there was not anticipated, but I should have remembered that they know both the cards in my hand. <laughs> so I got a little distracted. I'm sorry. It was a good distracted, though, so I don't care. Uh... All right. 3-3. Three, three. So they have the the hex proof it looks like here. And I want them to use it, so I will target it with expel. It's like beacon of something or whatever it is. Is it plus 2 plus 2? Yeah, beaming defiance, that's what it is. Okay. Uh life No blocks. All right, so now we have perfect attacks into some of these things. So uh, let's go next to combat. Let's go Spectre in. And Wither Bloom on the ground. 
Then if I don't draw anything interesting next turn, I can still drain them out with a Spectre. And I can also, uh, alternatively, if that's not the right play, I can scry with this. Okay. So tap down the Death Petcher and the 1-1. One, one. Give the splage, Pledge Mage flying. Yeah, okay. And lifelink, okay. Spectre attacking just bounces off the Stone Rise Spirit. It blocks pretty well, so on the 2 1 flyer, so. Yeah, I anticipate that trade is good too. Okay. I could have got in for the two more just to make this better, but I don't think that was correct necessarily. All right, so uh, let us pass with um, Spectre Mana up, I think, rather than, yeah, okay. I have to decide whether I want to play out this land just because we want to scry in the future if the Spectre dies, but I don't think I do. It's kind of a tough thing sometimes to decide between specturing and um, trying to get more board presence by scrying. I think in this case it's definitely specter because we have so much life. There is only one opponent. That can be only one. All right, so we have eight lands. Our Rise of Exodus, the Spiteful Squad, um, still doesn't seem quite right. Yeah. Just ride the Spectre as far as we can, I guess. Okay. All right. Go, Spectre. Go, Spectre. Go. Go, Ninja. Go, Ninja. Go. That was the best part about that last set is I get to do all my TMNT references from the 80s movies and nobody could stop me. It's Yep, we got a leech. Leech! Pack one, pick one from that pack was Puggles, almost certainly. No, Hostile Takeover. Sorry, I forgot about Hostile Takeover. Um, I was still amongst the commons and uncommons. Okay. 
All right, I need to find some more action here. That's definitely not what I asked for. And yes, I absolutely am doing this because I have nothing better to do. And we'll hope that Flunk does something here. Look, it's only like when you play this, you just like mirrors all the way. I hate it. Get flunked. I'm a teacher. I get to do that to you. All right, need more more action, please. Fuck. Am I running too many lands in this deck? I'm running too many lands in this deck. I have two six drops, though, with the Rise of Exodus and one five drop in the Ple Pledge Mage. I'm running 17 lands. I guess I should be running 16. Yeah. Okay, okay. Remind me to go fix that. But we have the Spectre, too, so we like like uh, we like we to do land stuff. And we have the, the two Strixhaven um, campuses, so we... So the, like, the, not, not Strix, the Silverhold campuses. So we do want to have land to do, be using that. Hey, dang! Ooh, good card. I like Guiding Voice a lot. I know, me too, but, like, Blood is so real. Expanded and now we're just gonna go all out on the Spectre? That doesn't... Huh, that's not a bad play here. I just, I really just want to draw one of my two Rise of Exits here. Please, 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 please. Eh. Yeah. That was not what I wanted to draw under any circumstances, really, but fine. Because they'll have removal for this soon anyway, and I couldn't put this up enough to do anything, so. And I didn't, go, I didn't go wide, so. Yeah, I'm assuming they have rise here themselves. We can do this. Hmm. Okay, so they have tap it down. Uh Nope, they don't. Okay. Beacon or whatever it is. Beaming defiance, whatever. ready to say well they're they're flooding uh sort of as much as we are i mean we, we just have the bigger creature on the board which is nice all right i'm going for it So you're just draining me for two. Come on. Yes! I didn't play this out beforehand because I don't want them to be able to flunk me in response, but I think they would have flunked last turn anyway. Kill Grimmy! Oh. 
Oh god, that was a fast hop. That's terrifying. Oh, that doesn't do it. What? Demir was a hidden deck. You could do certain, yeah, you could do certain pairings that weren't necessarily supported, but it, it was harder to, way harder to do that. Ooh, snarly. Yeah, a boop. I don't think it would be wrong to play out of the Arrogant Poet here and start getting it in the air with that, but they're more likely to have flyers in that set in particular. Uh, so I'm going to run out the, the Life Linker. Okay, so they could have Frog here. Um, and I have to decide whether it's worth trading the Leech Fanatic. I mean, like, losing the Leech Fanatic for the Frog. And I don't think it is. I think we just attack with the Eye Twitch here. Since they didn't play anything. Now, I could be losing out on 2 damage and 2 life here. Absolutely. But I'm gonna grab that. Yeah, so I, it looks like I might have. It did pause, and maybe it paused only for the curate, but it could have had a little frog. Um, so I don't need to, to risk that, I don't think. It was just so bad if they did. Oh, they're the Biomathematician deck. Yeah, the bots have not been taking Biomathematicians at all, so everybody's getting like a million of them, which is a hard, hard to beat uh, deck here at all. I'm going to be running this out for no value, which is really sad. Um, but we just have to, we have to win in the air. Uh, and I do think I attack with a Leech Fanatic, actually, for that reason. Oh, it's good that they're blocking with a Fractal. They should actually be blocking with the Biomathematicians. They really should be blocking with the Biomaths because the uh, Biomaths pump Fractals, not their other Biomaths. So that's really nice. Um... Alright, so take at least five damage here if they want to get in. Alright, that can gain them some life. But I'm hoping that I just kill them this coming turn with the Spectre plus the attack. Close. Not quite. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If they have plus three damage here, I die. I could just flunk them and go for the win the next turn. Uh, I can't flunk the Pledge Mage, but I could flunk one of the little ones. I don't think that's right. So they gain two life here. And if they find three damage, I do die. But let's hope I don't. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we're, they're dead. Okay. So... Alright, I need to draw land. Everybody say land, please. Please, please, please. Thanks, land. Please land. Land, land, land. 
Yes! Fuck yes, okay. Just silver gold? No, we're we're just being paired against every single thing. Like it's crazy. We're being paired against like all the like it, it's just. And when we played, we just played um Prismari before it like this, and we well Teamer, and we got paired only against Prismari. Like it was it was crazy. Um. sad that they had that before I could get value off my witch. Which is why I considered not playing the witch, playing the pledge mage instead. But, uh... I don't think they block with a specter here. I don't get to gain life, but if they block with a Spectre, I'm actually perfectly happy with that against the Pledge Mage. That's really good. Hmm. Okay. Fine. I assume they're going to take the summoning or the laureate here. Ah, that's sad. Okay, that worked. Nice. All right, Twitch. Get there. Divine Gambit is great in Call. Uh, sorry, great in uh, in in um, Strixhaven. It, it was bad in Call. Strixhaven was almost entirely spells that made um, creatures by the end, right? So it was actually really good. Ooh, expressive. What's a turf brawl? No. Have not. This is limited. 
a draft, a quick draft of Strixhaven. You are racing. This is interesting to me. Heated debate so good. Smack face. Blunk is not very good if they can't empty out their hand. So this mana scurf has been interesting for both us and them. So infuriate. So Pledge Mage is going back on top of our library or not? do you prefer? Which is better in limited? In modern? That just shocks. Um... Oh, I would have loved to land there. Oh well. They get a little far behind to be not playing a fourth card there. Like a, a, like a combat professor there and I think we win. But now this is going to be a little rough. Maybe more than a little. One card that I really don't want them to have here. That's not it.
They're dead. Steady break. So strong. So strong. If I get a fourth land, this is actually a very interesting curve. Fourth land, please. You're so good. No. <laughs> Why? Come on. Oh, we were doing so well. Um, I really just needed a land here at any point. I could take one more turn off the attack. Alright, one more turn. Hopefully I can still get there. Like, if I, if I, if I can't play, if they just, like, hold up stuff, it's gonna be so painful. Alright, they have Bookworm, I think. They don't. They have, need the 8th land for that. Okay. So I can flunk whatever the hell I want. The Vortex Runner is a little dangerous, but I have life gain. So let's just flunk the Symmetrist now. Please land. Oh, come on. Ugh. How many draws is that without a land? Another biomath, okay. Yes. I wish this weren't sorcery only. Yeah, opponent really likes Adventurous Impulse. Very true. Hey, Metal Mario! Alright, so I Twitch is gonna die and I get to learn for one of my 2-1 uh, flyers. I'm really happy that they're using the Scurried Colony to block it. Because the Scurried Colony can get to be a 4-4 if they find a land soon. 
Yeah, these are good blocks for me. a sweet little 7-0. I like it. Make it seem... We drew really well. We drew... We drew it really, really well there. That was... That was not normal. <laughs> I think this is the highest we've been this month is 41. It's no 69. But it's semi-nice.